In today's video, we're taking a look at 10 standout mods from March 2022. You can find links to all of the mods shown in this video below, so without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have the Feral Ghoul and Outfit Pack mod by Modder Carl Z. This mod adds new ghoul variants to the Mojave Wasteland and decks them out in over 70 new outfits, including combat, leather, metal, and power armor. This armor affects their damage threshold and makes them much more dangerous enemies as a result. You could technically even classify this as a cut content mod, as it implements the cut legion ghoul creatures that I've talked about in a previous video. It even adds lobotomite ghouls into old world blues, and marked men ghoul NPCs into lonesome road. This mod makes some great additions and I totally dig it. Securitrons are one of the coolest creatures in FNV, but interestingly they looked much different in some of their concept art, and a recent mod by Modder Bronze Solo restores the artist's long lost vision. This looks amazing, and it's easily one of the best retextures I've seen in recent memory. It always brings a smile to my face to see these old concepts brought back to life after so long, and I'm always amazed by the passion of our modding community. There's files for 2K and 4K versions, though I'd recommend the lower resolution option for the sake of performance. Next up is Rectified Water Towers by Spiffy Skytrooper. This replaces water towers with new meshes that are visually faithful and yet vastly better than the vanilla version. I'm not sure I've ever seen a new water tower mesh mod before, and I love when forgotten assets get some much needed love. Modern Hitman has been on fire recently, releasing a plethora of mind-blowing reanimation packs, and he's back once more with new mods for the 9mm submachine gun and 45 caliber SMG. These are easily some of the highest quality animations the game has ever seen. I'm constantly impressed by Hitman's style, and he's undoubtedly one of the most prolific modders in the game's history. The fourth mod we're looking at is the Sigma Sledgehammer animation set by Sigerius. Animations for melee weapons are rare in comparison to guns or energy weapons, so this mod is definitely a breath of fresh air. These animations look great and are much more fitting attacks for sledgehammers and super sledges. This is an excellent addition, and I'm really excited to see what Sigerius implements in the future. There is also a new unarmed animation mod by Janus. Unarmed animation packs are even rarer than their melee counterparts, so this is really cool to see. So far it affects boxing tape, boxing gloves, brass knuckles, spiked knuckles, the dog tag fist, and all unique versions of those weapons. These animations are similar to vanilla attacks, but are definitely an improvement at the same time. It's still a work in progress, so definitely keep an eye out on this one to see how it improves in the future. Next up is I Fought the Law by Modder Platinum Shadow. This mod allows you to retake the NCR correctional facility for the NCR without having to do Powder Ganger quests first, a quest design decision that always felt out of place. A few mods have already done this in the past, but as far as I can tell this is the best version, as this can be merged into other mods much easier than previous attempts at the idea. Now we're looking at the Old World Blues Cola Machine by Panzerman, a mod that restores a cut cola machine that was intended for the sink. You can buy Nuka Cola, Quantum, Quartz, and Victory for varying amounts of caps. I didn't even know about this cut content, and it's awesome that it's finally been discovered and restored. Modder Hideki 411 released a cool mod that restores a cut effect linked to Medex. Apparently the developers played around with the idea of giving the chem the effect of ignoring crippled limbs, which was a really dope concept. This mod restores that, and it's satisfying to see something obscure like this brought back from the grave. Finally, we're looking at the Vault Girl Status Replacer by Trash Garbage. This changes the Vault Boy status screen to feature Vault Girl instead, and I'm surprised no one's made something like this before. It definitely has a more fringe usage than the other mods we've looked at, but it's still a cool option for Black Widow playthroughs. That's all for this episode. If there's any great mods from the past month I left out, let me know in the comments, and as always, have an awesome day.